Here we go again. This isn't Devo. What the heck is this? Why are these kids dressed up like that band that sang Whip It? Well, that's because these kids are, oops, I mean were, Devo 2.0. A failed experiment from the fine folks at Walt Disney Entertainment. What? Disney came up with this idea? Yep. Let me explain some more. So this is the version of Devo that we all remember. Some people think of them as a novelty band known primarily for their biggest hit with it. But really, Devo had a slew of college radio hits in the late 70s, early 80s, and were one of the most cutting edge bands around. Songs like Beautiful World, That's Good, Girl You Want, Through Being Cool, even Peekaboo may have played out like novelty songs at first listen, but if one were to dig a little deeper into the lyrics, they would have found some pretty subversive stuff. Devo from the get-go was all about the idea of the continued de-evolution of society. So, case in point, in 2006, Devo worked on a project with Disney, as I stated, known as Devo 2.0. A band of child performers were assembled and they re-recorded Disney songs. A quote from the Akron Beacon Journal stated, Devo recently finished a new project in cahoots with Disney called Devo 2.0, which features the band playing old songs and two new ones with vocals provided by children. I I'm still scratching my head on this. Devo members and brothers Bob and Gerald Casal worked with Disney on the project. There's a great five minute interview on YouTube by the CPC where Bob and Jerry talk about how they were approached by Disney and had their full support until the album was near completion and finally the top execs took a moment to review the lyrics. At that point the mandate came down for them to make the lyrics more family friendly. And you know what, Bob and Jerry didn't mind at all because they recognized that the whole project typified the de-evolution of music. Dumbing the songs down to appeal to children ages 4 to 8? They also knew that the songs would serve as a gateway to the real stuff. When the kids grew older, they'd look them up on YouTube, find them elsewhere. Here it is. Hard to believe there was a photo of someone looking at a copy of the Devo 2.0 debut album. Looks like they pulled it from Target. I can't tell. Anyway, uh, their debut album was a two-disc CD-DVD combo entitled Devo 2.0. It was released on March 14, 2006, and let's just say... It was not a hit. Strangely, I know, this is crazy, the four to eight year old market had no interest in the Devo songs from decades past. Yeah, I say that with a little bit of sarcasm. If you don't notice. And while this may have been a fun project for our boys from Devo, I've got to think that the record executive who came up with this idea, he may be a greeter at your local Walmart. Now. So, of course, the kids, they went their separate ways. Former lead singer Nicole Starr has performed at uh, Devo conventions, and another YouTube search will yield some fun performances. And now, ten, more than ten years later, yeah, watching them makes one a little bit melancholy about the passage of time. In 2010, the real thing, Devo 1.0 released a new album, Something for Everyone was the title, and it was great. If you haven't heard the song, it's fresh, watch us work it. Well, you've got some homework to do. Lead singer and driving force, Mark Mothersbaugh, continues to work on movies and television. You can hear his work on the latest Marvel movie, the Thor Ragnarok soundtrack. And the man still performs from time to time, but at this point, you know, they do it to get together and enjoy each other's company, relive the memories, hang out with fans, and, well, absolutely confirm that the world continues its rapid pace of the end. So what do you think? Do you remember Devo 2.0? Did you like them? I'll admit I listened to their songs. I think I just like the songs, you know, they're classics. Did you buy into the Cassell Brothers argument that the band was a perfect example of continued de-evolution? Leave your comments below and please give this video a like. It means a lot to me. As always, I'd be honored if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, thank you so much for watching.